Okay, hello everybody. Hello, Flor. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Yesenia. Hello, Alba. Hello, Samuel. Oh, Omar, I'm sorry. Hello. How are you? How are you today? How are you, Flor? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's so nice. Uh, Rebecca, how are you today? Good night, teacher. I'm okay. And you? Okay, that's good. I am great today. Thank you for asking. What about you? Let's see, Alba Castillo, how are you? I'm very well, teacher. Very well. Okay, nice to see you. Yesenia, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. You're fine. Thank you. Now, Omar, how are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm a little bit uh, tired. A little bit tired because of work? Yeah. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry, boy. So I hope uh, that you enjoy the class and then you can relax. Okay, so very good. Edgardo, how are you today? Hello, good evening. I'm very good. And you? Very good. I am happy. Thank you for asking. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for coming on time to our class. We are going to start uh, with our practices in this day. So let me share my screen with you. Let me see. Okay. Can you see my screen at this moment? Yes. 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 Okay. So remember, uh, well, this week we start talking about present perfect. So today we will have a very short review about it. And also we are going to practice. But before we start, let's check the following question. Please, Alba Castillo, what is the question for today? What's the most difficult meal you have ever cooked? Very good. So what's the most difficult meal or the most difficult food you have cooked? So, well, yesterday you told me that you like cooking. So you are good at cooking. I want to know, I want to know what is the most difficult thing you prepare? So let's see, let's start with Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia, what is the most difficult meal you have cooked? Mm. I think the most difficult meal I cook, I cook it, um, mariscada, maybe. Really? So yes. why why do you think it's difficult to prepare mariscada? Why do you think that it's difficult? Um, because um, for the 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 seafood, um, okay, because of the um, seafood. Uh huh. And tell me, what kind of seafood do you Put on the mariscada. Fish. And... I don't remember <laughs> the name. Uh, I don't seen. remember the name. Okay, but don't worry. Okay, so but mariscada is the most difficult thing you prepared, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so pretty good. Thank you for sharing, Yesenia. Let's check now. Uh, what about you, Flor? What is the most difficult meal you have prepared? Uh, the most difficult meal I've ever cooked is mm, relleno de papa. Okay, <laughs> so are, are they are they difficult? For me, yes, teacher, because yes. The, the, the potato... And cheese, uh, I don't know. Se le sale todo. Okay, so <laughs> you can, so they cannot mix very well. They don't mix very well. Yes, exactly. Okay, so they don't mix. Okay, well, that that's the most difficult thing. Okay, and what about the egg? Can you, uh, can you, uh, well, can can you steer? The, uh, the 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 egg very well. Yes, the, this okay. the, this part of the meal. Yes. <laughs> okay. So well, that's that's so nice. Okay, very good. Well, 
Thank you, Florin. What about you, Edgardo? So I, I can see that you that you like cooking and you like cooking all kind of food. So tell me, what is the most difficult meal you have ever cooked? I guess a stuffed pe peppers, a stuffed peppers, because um the process is is long. Uh, oh I need to um um The name mm. the peppers grill the garden. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, okay. And um, slice the the slice tomatoes uh, for the meat. Uh, fry the meat and roast the roast the pepper. And so it's it's long, but it's okay, delicious yeah. at the end. Ah. Okay, so I I got it. Okay, and how long is it to prepare the the, the peppers? Mm, I don't have a a time. Mm, maybe two 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 or three hours. Oh yeah, so that's that's too long. Okay, so it's better to prepare a sandwich. Okay, I, I, so <laughs> yes, but I I guess the the most. Mm, the most difficult is the process. Yeah, okay, the so that's the, the, that's the most difficult thing, to prepare all the yes. ingredients and all of those. Yes. Ah, okay, yes, so I got it. Okay, Edgar, so thank you for sharing. I have, well, I have never prepared any of the things you told me, guys, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm not good at cooking, so I, I, I don't know how long is it, and some, some kind of things, I don't know how difficult can be, but, the, these are the difficult things for you, but it's okay. Hey, what about you, Alba Castillo? What is the most difficult meal you had prepared? Mm, tamales. Tamales. And Chicken tamales that, or, or corn but no tamales? No ingredients. Uh, um, my, my process difficult is the roll. Ah, okay, so, uh huh, so to, yes. okay, it's it's difficult like, to to, yes. well, to prepare to prepare the things. Easy. It's kind of easy. Uh, the prepare a uh, ingredients is easy, but uh, the roll is difficult. Ah, okay. So, what kind of tamales do you prepare? Uh, the Oh, chicken. Chicken and chicken. Okay, chicken tamales. Okay, so yes, it 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 is kind of difficult, but but it's fine. Okay, so thank you for sharing. What about you, Marilyn? What is the most difficult meal ha you have ever cooked? I I try uh to do paella. But it's difficult because the rice is so delicate. It's is do we do do you have to use do you have to use a different kind of rice for paella? Mm, it's the same, but you have to agree uh, a paprika. Oh, okay. So that's why it's kind of difficult. It's different, right? Yes. Okay, so well, I didn't know about it, but now I, I well, now I, I have that information about paella. Okay, very good, Marilyn. So thank you. And what about you, Omar? What's the most difficult meal you have ever cooked? So, for my opinion, my okay, in my for me, the soup of mariscada is a, a very a very dish ever cooked because. The process with seafood is very long. <laughs> the yeah, so we need clean the shrimp, the fish, crabs is a very long okay. and it's a very difficult and the time of cook of, of the dish is a very long. So I remember I tried cook ribs, short ribs. And it's not a very difficult, but the ribs is a very hard. So I try cook about 
30 minutes or 45 minutes and the meat is a very hard because the meat is not a very it's not a very good because the meat is older and my, I remember in this occasion in this occasion the, the meat is not that good so it's difficult it was difficult cook this dish for me okay so ribs and maris well ribs and mariscada it's difficult for you right yeah okay so well I, I can see that sometimes the process it's I guess the process is the most difficult thing when you're cooking. But, well, thank you for sharing, guys, about some dishes or some uh, meals that you have ever prepared. As you remember, in the last classes, we learned a little bit about present perfect. And also we talk about uh, sequencers or the adverbs of sequence. So today we can move to our... Well, to our review, okay? Today we, we will have a short, really, really short review of what we learned during the week, okay? In the class and also activities that you did on the platform. So to start, let's see, okay, let's see the use of present perfect. Please, Edgardo, tell me, what is the present perfect used for? Definitely before okay and what is example for example uh, yes for example i have i have visited the beach many times okay so as we can see in this in this explanation it talks about indefinite times before now so how many times have you visited the beach we don't know we don't have a specific number so we only say many times. As you see, we are talking about indefinite times before this day. So I cannot count or I, I didn't count all the times I have gone to the beach. So it's better if I use only an indefinite time. So many times or a lot of times, okay? So we can use in this kind of, in this kind of examples, it's better to use present perfect to talk about indefinite times of activities that we did in the past, but we it can continue in the present, okay? So remember, we use present perfect for those kind of activities. But then guys, remember, we also check the sequencers. And what are the sequencers, Yesenia? What are the sequencers used for? Mm, sequence, sequencer. Yes, uh, read. They are used to order events and organize text. First, okay. I take a selfie, then I edit it. Finally, I post it on my Instagram. Very good. So this is a process of how to do something, how to post a picture. But tell me, what are the sequence? What are the sequencers that we use, Flor? Sorry, teacher. What are the sequencers that we use in exam in 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 the example? First. Okay. Then final. Very good. First, then, and finally. And as you remember, we can also use next. And also we can use after that, okay? So as you see, when we are talking about the process of something, or we talk about different events and we want to organize or put those actions in order, so we need to use the sequencers. Also guys, I, I talking about present perfect, don't forget that we use it to talk about experiences. So when you talk about something that you have done some uh, or some activities that you did in the past and they can continue in present so you can use present perfect. So, well, do we finish with present perfect now? We can continue talking about the sequencers. As you can see, okay, we use it to talk about 
what do I do or what what is the order I need to have to, in this case, to post a picture on my Instagram. So first I have to take a selfie or take a picture. Then I have to edit it. And the last activity is to post the picture on, on your social networks. Okay, so as you can see, we are talking about specific, uh, well, we are talking about specific processes and the way we do some things. So as uh, you remember, this is just a review of what we learned during the week. So let's check right now a short practice about present perfect. In this moment, please, we will complete together that 10 sentences. As you can see the sentences, uh, we have a, an example here. Please, right now, Omar, help me with example. Okay, the example, Snoopy catch a mouse. Snoopy has caught a mouse. Very good. As you remember the structure of present perfect, what is the first part of, of, a, of a sentence, Rebecca? In present the perfect. subject. Ah, very good. The first part is a subject. Then what is our next part, hey, Marilyn? I have or has. Very good, have or has, depending on the subject. Then what is the next part, Alma Marroquin? The verb. The verb, in what form? In base form, in past participle. What is the past. correct form? Ah, in past participle. Very good, past participle. And uh, what do we use after that? Let's see, it is. What is the last part of a sentence? Okay. Uh, Edgardo, what is the last part of the sentence? <laughs> what, oh, repeat again? Okay. The complement, everybody. So remember, we have to use a complement. So as you can see, Snoopy has caught a mouse. Okay, so we have this structure to talk about present perfect. I will copy the structure on the chat for you to remember and practice. So let's check now. We will check sentence by sentence, what is the correct, or what is the correct example in present perfect? So let's start and listen to Marilyn. Marilyn, tell me right now example number one. Brian play football. What do you think is the correct sentence in present perfect? Uh, Brian have been played football. Brian have? Have been played football. Have been? How do you how do you spell played? Mm. Like this? E D to the end. Oh, E D, very good. And football. Okay, so is this your sentence, Marilyn? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's check together. Please tell me, Alba Castillo, is that sentence correct? Brian had been played football? Yes or no? Mm, for me, it's not necessary. Been. Oh, been is not necessary. Yes. Okay, so let's eliminate being. Let's see. What is the sentence, Marilyn? Brian has played football. Very good. So we don't use the verb to, in these sentences in present perfect, we don't use the verb to be. Okay. Remember, we don't use the verb to be in present perfect. We only need the auxiliary 
have or has. Okay. The verb in, in past participle and the complement. But now let's focus, uh, right now let's focus on the, on the auxiliary. What is the correct auxiliary to talk about Raya, to talk about he? What is the has. correct auxiliary? Has. Ah, we use has. So this is the correct sentence. Ryan has played football or soccer, okay? Depending on the English, but on the kind of English, but that's the correct sentence. Omar, do you have a question? Yes, I try change the the auxiliary because he's talking about third person and has is the correct. Ah, thank you, Omar. So that's a great example and a great explanation. We are talking about third person. So when we talk about third person, he, she, or it, remember, we need to use has. Okay, Omar, let's continue with example number two. So we have Susan read her new book. So what is the correct sentence in present perfect? Okay, Susan has the verb. I don't remember. I I I'm bad for for the for the verbs in past participle. I don't okay. remember. It's the same, Omar. <laughs> okay. It's a regular verb. Thank yes. you, thank you. Susan has read her new book. Okay, so thank you. So her new book thank you floor that's correct guys so read is an irregular verb it has the same well it is the same in press well in in, in base form in in pre, in past and in past participle the only difference in past is that we in instead of saying read we say red like the color okay red okay very good omar great sentence let's continue right now and pay attention to kevin Kevin, what is example number three in present perfect? So we have, I find some money in the street. What is the sentence in present perfect, Kevin? Uh, the correct uh, sentence is, is, I found, no, I have found some money in the street. Okay, very good. Excellent correction, Kevin. So I have found some money in the street. Okay, in the street. Well done. Okay, excellent, excellent example, Kevin. So you are doing really great. Now let's continue with Yesenia. Yesenia, tell me sentence number four. Mm, Mr. And, Miss and Mrs. Baker have have uh, huh? have what is the uh, past participle of have have Ah, had. So have had an um, accident. Very good. So excellent job. This is kind of confusing because we are we are already using have, but as an auxiliary, not as a verb. But you did it. You did it really good. Okay. Thank you, Jessenia. So as you see in this example, we use. Uh, give me a second. In this example, we use have, but not as a verb but as an auxiliary. So well done. Let's see, let's continue right now. Please, let's pay attention to Alma Marroquin. Alma, tell me example number five. Tom Davies, win Tom the Davis. tennis match. Tom Davies has won the tennis match. Okay, Tom Davies has won the tennis match. Well done, okay, so that's right. Super good. Thank you for your practice. And that sentence is correct. We are using the auxiliary have or has very well. 
Let's continue with Edgardo. Okay, Edgardo. Next sentence is for you. Help me with example six about okay. Alison Brown. Alison Brown has lost her keys. Okay, Alison Brown has lost, lost her keys. Her keys. Very good. So we are using the, also, we are using the verbs in past participle very well. Thank you, Edgardo. That sentence is correct. Let's continue right now. Please help me, Alba Castillo. What is sentence number seven? Mr. Martin has made breakfast for the boys. Has made breakfast? Oops, for the breakfast boys. for the boys. Well done. Okay, so that sentence is correct. Thank you. Well, you are doing an amazing job using the present perfect. We will continue right now. Let's pay attention to uh, Iris. Iris, help me right now with example eight. What is the correct sentence, Iris? Okay, let's continue with Floor. Floor, tell me example eight. The girls have bros. How do you spell that? Um, B R O U G H T. Nice. Okay, so the girls have brought some wool for the fire. Very good. Okay, so well done. Okay, so your spelling was great and also the sentence is okay. It's fine. Okay, thank you. Let's move on and pay attention to, well, Omar, help me right now with another example. Help me with number nine. Okay. The, the snow, the snow has complete a cheap car insurance. A cheap, a cheap car insurance. Okay. So is well. Let me check. Is that sentence correct, guys? What do you think? Lori, is that sentence correct? Uh, the missing letter D in the verb complete. Oh, yes. Okay. Remember, Omar, in okay. past participle, the pronunciation yeah. is completed. 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 Okay. Very good. So, very good. And, oops, let's see. Over here says, does knows. So, do you think that is have or has, Omar? Yeah, is have because is is plural maybe. The snows. Yes, that's right. It's in plural, so the snows. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I I'd be confused because because the snows maybe I I talking in third person, but is 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 in plural. Yes, just because of the letter S, it's in plural. Okay, but your example was also a good. A, a, a good idea, okay? Nice job. Now let's finish with the last example. Please let's pay attention to Marilyn. Marilyn, what is example number 10? Mr. Black has washed the dishes. Okay, very good. Mrs. Oops. Mrs. Black. Have or has? I don't remember. Has. Has. Washed the dishes. Okay. So, guys, well done. Okay. We use have or has very well in the examples. And also, we are using, as I said before, the verbs in past participle very well. So, we will continue practicing right now. But in this moment, let me check. 
Okay, give a second. Okay, but right now we are going to move to another activity. In this moment, what are we going to do? Please pay attention to Rebecca. Rebecca, read our instructions. Uh, speaking time, talk about good experiences you've, you've had when eating in a restaurant using different tense, present perfect and simple past. You have one a theory minutes to speak about it, then listen to your partner. Very good, thank you. As you can see, everybody, we are going to talk about, well, this week we talk about food and cooking, but we will talk about experiences too. So you have to tell me about a good experience you have had when eating in a restaurant. So remember to talk about things or events that happened in the past, we can talk about, we can use, I'm sorry, simple past. So I guess you already work or you already know a little bit about simple past and we can talk about present perfect too. So let's work in person groups and you have one minute and 30 to speak about it, okay? Speak as more as possible, as much as possible, I'm sorry. And once we finish one minute and a half, we change part, okay, we change, okay? Or we switch positions. So the first person, for example, if I am with Omar, I talk one minute and a half, and then Omar starts talking. Okay, guys, yes, is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So right now, remember the most important thing is to speak. Okay. So everybody, please speak. Uh, let me see. Okay. Speak as much as possible. So see you in three minutes. Okay. Remember one minute and a half for one person and three minutes and a half for the next person. So see you. Well, see you later. My second. Give me a second, everybody. I'm having problems. Okay, here we go. So see you in three minutes. Bye-bye. experience in a restaurant yes um i remember uh, that that once i went to eat a, a restaurant uh, fogatas fogatas name and i was mm, i was fascinated fascinate mm, the the place because uh, the atten the attention of the waiters uh, is so so great, and the food was very tasty and very no hot hottest. So let me see. Let me see. I remember when I was in a restaurant. I don't remember so ha, has had a a good experience. So it's a it's a more common experience. The the the, the food or meals are are good. So. The wait the waitress are very are very sweet and the the meat the the meals are very good so I I don't have a, a particular experience so I don't know. <laughs> Hello. 
Mm, I think uh, it's the same when I was a, a, a restaurant. Maybe the food. Uh, huh? In my case, the best experience was when I traveled to Costa Rica. I was I was in the Avion restaurant and I had to order the food. It it was delicious. And I have with my boyfriend. And this uh, is good because the server uh, what uh -huh. it was a uh, gentle and um in a lot of uh, time uh, uh, it was a uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, birthday the drink and uh, serve the food and uh, and tell me a, a question the uh, you don't uh, well, hello everybody. Let's see, everybody's here. Yes. Well, we were talking about everybody, some experiences that we have had in, well, some good experiences that we had had in a restaurant. So right now I want to listen to some of you, but before we we talk about it. Remember, please, to use some important things, okay? I heard in some of your examples, I don't remember in which one, but I listen, I have then with my family, okay? So when we are talking about a present perfect, remember that we need to use a verb in past participle, so a verb in past participle. So if we are talking about going to a restaurant, what do you think is the verb, the missing verb in the sentence? What do Went. you think? Oh, Went. but that is in past and in past participle. <laughs> Alba Castillo, what is the per what is the past participle of go? It's gone, teacher. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Alba. So it's gone. So we say, I have gone with my family to that restaurant. Okay. So we use this kind of verbs. Also remember also, uh, to use uh, uh, verbs or structures in past. So if we are talking about uh, the last time we visited a restaurant, so we say, I went or I was, okay? Remember, we don't say I am because we are, we are not talking about present. We are talking about past. So I was, okay? And let me see. Okay, that was the most important things that I listened. Remember to use past and to use complete sentences in Present perfect. So let's move on and listen to some of your experiences. Let's see, Marilyn, did you have or, or have you ever had a good experience in a restaurant? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about the, it. Uh, the most experience that I had when I went to Belize, I tried to tacos of fish and eat the first that 
I try something like that because it was very delicious. Okay. Okay, so you tried a fish tacos. Yes. Okay, so I I have <laughs> never listened about it. Have you seen a, ch a chicken? I'm sorry, chicken, no. Fish tacos in El Salvador? Yes. Yes, they where? They are in restaurant Costa. Okay. Well, that's that's so nice. I I I have never tried fish tacos, and I I didn't I didn't know they exist. <laughs> but it's a good one. <laughs> it, it sounds interesting. Okay, if you love seafood and tacos, so it's a good combination. So thank you, Marilyn, mm -hmm. for talking about your experience. It's it's so nice. Let's see right now. Uh, what about you? Let's see, Kevin. Have you ever had a good experience in a restaurant? Yes. Uh, I uh, once, uh, once we went to eat pizza with my family and we we tried the pizza with chicken and okay so you tried pizza with chicken yes we 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 tried okay. Okay, is that, that is that the one from Pollo Campero? No, it's the the pizza from the Papayons. Ah, okay, from Papayons. Okay. Oh yes, that's true. They have a pizza with chicken. So have you ever tried have you ever tried a Pollo Campero's pizza, Kevin? Yes, pero yes, but I I don't like you don't like okay. I don't like pizza compared. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, so it is. It, it has a different a different taste. So that's why maybe. But thank you. Well, guys, we were talking about great things. But now remember, we were talking about food. Okay, we have to talk about food this time. Okay, uh, I am hungry, but let's continue talking about it. So, what is our next activity, please? Oh, oh, please, Rebecca, tell me, what is our activity for, our last activity of the class, I mean? Okay, now the activity is grow, grow, work. Look in the internet for a recipe, re recipe yeah. to prepare an easy meal and, the, and discuss how to explain it using the adverbs and sequence. You have six minutes to read the recipe and get ready with your partner. Very good. It will be kind of easy, guys, because we have to use the sequence adverbs or uh, the, the sequence, uh, the adverbs of sequence, okay? So in this case, we have to say, okay, first we, well, if you're talking about how to make pancakes, so you tell me first you have to, and you tell me the, the ingredients or you can tell me the steps how to prepare a meal. It has to be easy, guys, uh, because it will be short, okay? But you have six minutes to investigate, look for the information on the internet, and then we can, uh, we can talk about it. Okay, everybody? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. So see you in six minutes minutes okay remember to look on the internet for a recipe talk about it discuss about the recipe and explain step by step how to do it so see you
the fears. What? The fears is a. Uh, the first step is you must to add in a. Let me see how to say Ecuador. Mm -hmm. In a blender. Mm -hmm. uh, what is in there? Let me see some. Uh, what me? Hello, what recipe are you looking for? Uh, I'll talk about to make pizza. Okay. Is, is pizza easy or difficult? Uh, difficult. It's <laughs> difficult. difficult. <laughs> okay, so let's try to use the, the, the sequencers and let's see what happens, okay? Okay. Very good. See yeah. you. <clears throat> and next prepare the sauce or yeah prepare the 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 sauce and and prepare the I don't I don't know say I don't know, say, repollo <laughs> in, in English. I don't, I don't remember. So after that, I, I prepared the dog with the beans and cheese. Mix the ingredients for prepared pupusas. And finally, put the pupusas in in the kitchen or 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 grill maybe and eat pupusas maybe okay. Okay. that is the receipt for all kind of, of taste of pupusas Uh -huh, and, and the the next four next uh, we can we can uh, wash the vegetable yes and wash the vegetable and after that um, Chop, chop the vegetable. Chop all the vegetable. I don't know. For example, yeah. the first we need some ingredients. For example, lettuce, um, tomato, onion, cucumber, and cabbage. And maybe a uh, corn. A corn, yes. A corn and avocado too. Mm -hmm. And then wash the the Did you finish? Hello Madeline. Hello Alma. Finish? No teacher. <laughs> okay, so you're still investigating. Yes. Okay. Well, time is almost over, so don't worry, okay? But if you have some steps, it will be nice, okay? Okay. Okay.
Okay, I can continue now. I listen to some of your recipes that you investigate about, and well, we are going to listen to some of your classmates. Right now, uh, let's listen. Well, we have a group of three, Flor, Iris, and Yesenia. So do you have, what recipe did you investigate about? It's easy, it's easy, Daniel. <laughs> it's a salad. It? salad. It's a salad. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I have never done a salad. I have never prepared <laughs> a salad. So how do you prepare a salad? Yes, the first, uh, we need some ingredients. For example, a vegetable and fruit. Um, for example, I I don't know uh, the pronunciation lettuce, le lechuga, lettuce. Oh, lettuce, 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 lettuce. Okay, lettuce, tomato, onion, and cucumber. Or maybe radish or avocado. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, mm -hmm. can do. And then we wash the vegetable. And, and, and cook the, the vegetable too. Yes, chop the best of the vegetable. And we can add corn, for example, and serve in the dishes. And mm, finally, mm, I don't know. Finally, hey, eat, eat, eat yeah. the salad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's that's the last thing, okay, that can happen with the salad. So you eat the salad. So very good. So we, uh, well, you talk about how to prepare a salad. So you have to, well, first you, you need the ingredients, then you wash, the, you wash them, you cup them, and uh, you mix all of the ingredients. That's pretty good, okay? So thank you for explaining us how to prepare a salad. That was really good. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Yesenia. Let's see right now. Uh, let's pay attention to. Let me see. Oh, Alba and Rebecca. So, Alba and Rebecca, what what did you talk about? Uh, we was talking about uh, how to how to cook uh, banana banana pancakes. Okay, so what is the recipe of banana pancakes? Okay, first you must to you need to add in a blender one cup of oatmeal, one banana, a uh, one egg, two a uh, one spoon of cinnamon powder. And one spoon of vanilla. And one cup of milk. Then you must to turn on the, the blender. And uh, in the cook, you must to uh, put a pan. And add a little bit of, of butter. And then the the mix. After that, put the match in the fishing pan, and finally uh, wait for it to cook and eat banana pan. Okay, so that was really nice. So banana pancakes, they sound delicious. So I hope I hope to eat those in in one in one day. Okay, but that was pretty nice. Okay, you were talking about recipes and they sound really delicious. Let's continue practicing and don't forget to continue using that 
sequencers. Okay, remember that the important thing is to practice sequencers. So very good job, Alba, eh, Alba and Rebecca. So thank you for sharing. Now uh, let's continue and pay attention to it. It's time, it's almost time to go. So time is almost up. So let's check what is our homework for today's opportunity. First of all, don't forget to continue practicing what we see this week, okay? The class, uh, Monday class and also Tuesday class and to continue practicing what we did today. Please work on the platform and complete the, the following activities. 1.3.2 and 1.3.3, okay? Today we only have two activities. So I, I, I hope you could finish and do your best in this. In this. So uh, guys, it's time to go. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good night and well, thank you for practicing. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.